We can easily connect FlowWise to Langsmith and use Langsmith to monitor and debug FlowWise chart flows. When we use the FlowWise chat box and give it a prompt like what is AGI, we get the answer back from ChatGPT and the information on this conversation goes in the background to Langsmith. In Langsmith, we can trace the conversation and get useful information about the runs. For example, the amount of tokens used to complete the run and the latency. Furthermore, we get some insights into how the components work and which prompts and messages are exchanged. This is very important if you build professional AI apps and want to test the apps before deploying. So let's see how we can connect FlowWise to Langsmith with a fresh project. We go to FlowWise repository on GitHub and copy the HTTPS link. In our project folder, we clone the repo to the folder langsmith-flowwise. After the repo is cloned, we change to the new directory and start Visual Studio Code from inside the directory. In Visual Studio Code, we go to Packages, Server, and copy .env.example and paste it and rename it to .env. If you like to see more debug information in the terminal, you can uncomment the debug equals true line. We do it here just to compare the debug information in the terminal and in Langsmith. Feel free to use it or not, but to connect FlowWise to Langsmith, you need to uncomment four lines. First thing first, we give a project name to be used in Langsmith. Otherwise, the information go to the default project. Next, we need an API for Langsmith. We navigate to smith.langchain.com and in the API section, we create and copy a key and close the pop-up. Back in Visual Studio Code, we paste the code in the .n file and assign it to langchain underscore API underscore key. We can now save and close the files. You may have an existing FlowWise installation. Just to be sure to use the latest packages, we type yarn install in the root of the project. Depending on the speed of your machine, this takes some time. After the installation is done, the prompt comes back and we can clear the screen and type yarn build. The build process takes some time too. After the prompt is back, we clear the screen and start FlowWise by typing npx FlowWise start. FlowWise starts and listens to the port 3000. We navigate to port 3000 and in the marketplace in the chat flows, we select the simple conversation chain and click on Use Template to start editing our chat flow. First, we must provide an OpenAI key. So we go to OpenAI to the API section and create a new secret key. Name is optional and we give it Langsmith-Flowwise. We create and copy the key and close the pop-up. Back to FlowWise, we paste it in the OpenAI API key and save and add the key. We can save our flow and give it a name like Langsmith-FlowWise. Now it's the time to test our flow and the connection to Langsmith. We give our first question, what is AGI? and get the answer back from ChatGPT with some information about Artificial General Intelligence. Just to have two runs, we give another question. What is AI? And sure enough, we get some information about Artificial Intelligence. Before having a professional tool like Langsmith, we had to get our debug information in the terminal and scroll back and forth to get more information. 
As you can remember, we uncomment the debug flag to get even more information in the terminal. But now we have a much better solution. When we go to the Langsmith dashboard, we can see our projects. Here I have three projects. One default project, one Langsmith getting started project for my last YouTube video and integrating Langsmith in a Python project, and finally our new Langsmith Dash Flowwise project, which we configured in the .env file of Flowwise. This project has two runs. When we open the Langsmith Dash Flowwise project, we dive deeper and get more information about the runs and the components and messages and prompts and contents. Langsmith provides many information about our flows. We even see some meta information like the library used, which in this case is langchain-js, and other useful information and configuration. When we go back, we can configure the visibility of some columns and even see how many tokens are used for the prompt and how many for the completion. Langsmith had many features. We just scratched the surface in this video. For more information about the Flowwise environment variables, go to Flowwise documentation, then to environment variables, and then to the Langsmith tracing section. Good luck.